All right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, so, you know, many of you know that now, you know, Mackenzie Dunn, I'm sorry, Mackenzie Dern, uh, you know, she has cracked the, the top 15, in which, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's disgusting that, you know, Mackenzie Dern, basically, she cheated. Okay, I don't care what people say. I mean, she cheated. Cheated to win. Um, that's what she did. She came in, you know, seven pounds over the weight limit, really eight if you think that it's 115, but they do allow you to come in at 116. Um, she came in seven, eight pounds over the limit, okay, and now she's being rewarded, you know, okay. Um, so here go the thing, though. So she gets rewarded for beating two of the weakest opponents in the division, okay? She get rewarded. But you got fighters like Mario Reynaud who they're beating, you know, top caliber opponents in the division, in their division. But they can't even get a ranking past the girl who got beat. Okay? And then the girl that she beat only moves one ranking behind her. And the girl who been getting beat, Kat, <coughs> Kat Zingano, is still ahead of her in the rankings. Who All she been doing is getting beat. See, I done told y'all, man. Y'all people, you need to look. Okay? You need to look. Uh, you need to, uh, like, gauge because... I, I keep pointing this stuff out to you. I keep pointing it out and pointing it out that, you know, of course, you know, Mackenzie Dern, uh, <laughs> she's on the love list. Okay? But see, if you're on the no love list, if you're on the Coach Shelton Harrison no love list, I mean, folks, it is what it is. Okay? It is what it is. I done, I done already broke the no love list down to y'all. I done put videos out explaining the no love list and why the no love list is and why it's, it, it, it exists. But... You know, of course, Mackenzie Dern, of course she got her insurance. And because she got Hope Insurance, well, there it is, you know. That's just how it is. And she's going to be afforded, you know, benefits and perks that other hardworking fighters like Randa Marcos or like people like Alexa Grazo, that they're not going to be afforded those same luxuries. I wonder why. They're not going to be afforded those same luxuries. Fighters like Danielle Taylor and Vivian Pratt, they're not going to be afforded the same luxuries as this hype job and the reason why I call it a hype job because I'm telling you it's, it's a matter of time this weight bully is a matter of time and weight bully is when uh oh not that weight bully is when you you, you know you you can't you, that you got you know you can make the weight but you can't even make the weight this girl can't even make the weight man I mean really we shouldn't even call people weight bullies that they can make the weight but this girl can't make the weight it's clear I mean the girl done miss weight four times Okay, and she had to have an advantage over Bobby, uh, Amanda Bobby Cooper. She had to have an advantage. Okay, but you know I see what the UFC angle is, and y'all gotta remember the UFC. It's all about the money. It's all about that green. Guess that green. <laughs> That's what it is. You know, you know, and I have to wonder, man, if some of the, how they, how these how the UFC do these women, man. You know, it'd be amazing if they just decide to to just really. You know, go in and deal with other women and push them. You know, like really deal with them. Like, and uh, you know, Rose Nam and Eunice already said, "Look, I'll fight her." And Rose know that this is a money opportunity. It, it, it's a big money opportunity. Like, Mackenzie Dern will probably end up being a draw, a big time draw, because you know you got the uh, UFC simps. They're gonna want to see her get an octagon and, and just uh, you know just jiggle all around. That's what they're gonna want to see. Okay, that, that is, that's just how it is. And. You know, Rose knows this is a big money opportunity. The only reason why Rose will fight Mackenzie Dern is for the money. That's it. That's it. I mean, it, it would purely be a money grab. And uh, I don't even know if Rose would even worry about being beaten by Mackenzie. I don't I don't think. But uh, I don't know. See, it sounds like that'll be something that the UFC would do is to push her. You know, like, like really pull, pull up in the rankings and give this girl a title shot. All she got to do is win one more fight and Mackenzie Dern will be the number one contender. I'm telling y'all that's what they're going to do. They're going to bypass all these other girls and they're going to put this hype job into the driver's seat. I mean, they will. The girl can crack. You know, she got some power. You know, she got some power. But, you know, you have to put on the extra weight to access that power. <laughs> that's what it is. See, it, it ain't going to be no funny business. See, fighting these people in the top ten ain't going to be no funny business. They not finna sit here and deal because people in the top ten, you know, they usually making pretty good purses, and they not finna come in here and afford a loss. They just gonna take their, their win bonus. They gonna take that and they gonna take thirty percent of your purse and they finna go home. 
they don't even engage you in a fight because what why why get in there with an overweight you know why, why get in there with an overweight lover and 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 you know try to you know make a fight and just fight anyway based on uh on warrior mentality nah man it's a business but i gotta tell you man we can clearly see that everything that i've been saying about the ufc is right on the money i'm talking about it's been bullseye right on the money that, bet nobody better not ever come to me and say that Valentina don't deserve to be in the flower. Matter of fact, all you guys, y'all shut up. Anybody telling me that Valentina don't deserve a shot, but then, you know, if you agree with this, don't talk to me. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna even entertain you. Because I, I've been telling y'all this stuff is gonna happen. Man, <laughs> you know what? The UFC rivals, Bellator, Bellator, y'all need to hire me. Bellator need to go on to hire me, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. And, and these little smaller little organizations, they need to hire me. Because I done sat back here and I done darn near predicted almost everything that the UFC is gonna be doing. I, I done told y'all about this. Shoot, man, I can give y'all a business plan and y'all can, you know, get in here and, and, and just go ahead and, and, and counteract whatever the UFC doing and make your brand big off the coach. Shoot, y'all should. But you know, it is what it is. We know that this hype job, it, you know, because of her hope insurance, she's going to get whatever she, she going to get whatever she wants. They're just going to put in there. You know, she's a face. You know, she's just a face, a young, immature face that, you know, these simps like. That's how it is. I see right through them, though. I see right through them. And I tell you this, and I tell you this without a shadow of a doubt. When she fights an opponent that can fight back, when she fights an opponent, that's not going to be affected by the weight. That's not going to be affected by the power of these wild, awkward punches she throw. I'm telling you, Mackenzie Dern is going to get knocked out. Her first loss will be a knockout. Count on it. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.